Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about Rabbit MQ and a thing that has been annoying me for months and that is the queuing part of Rabbit MQ and the the KOS, the quality of service. So let's switch over to my screen here and here we have an uh, MQ executor that I built in order to do work on a machi machine. So it's pretty much something that you send it and a couple of parameters and then it runs a script locally with those parameters. I have a video where I go through this in detail but let's just look at some things here. So first off we have this console appender and then we read in our configuration file here. Not much to that. We will set up a bunch of rabbit hosts here and see what we have. We will connect to one of those hosts with a password and a virtual host and a port. And then we will create a new connection and a new channel. And here we have the thing. We have this basic Q QoS and it defaults to one or it defaults to zero, I believe. And you can put it to one. And what that means is that whenever you run this consumer, it will take one of the messages in the queue and work on that and then prefetch one. And if you are running a system where some of the workloads can take longer time, things comes in burst and so on, then you can have the problem that a worker have taken two jobs that takes a long time to run and the other ones are just idle because one uh, job is actually uh, not do uh, is trying to do one task and then is waiting to do another and you really want to spread it out on as many workers as possible and sadly zero here means take everything in the queue so that doesn't work either so i wanted to have something where i picked one and then the next one and the next one and so on and what i came up with is if we look at more of the code here we have the executor consumer and then we have a basic consume we have a shutdown hook not important we have a bit of stack traces not important either we have the reporter here not super important either and so down here we have a while loop where it checks i'm still here and and then checks if it's alive and they then say okay i'm still alive and then it will report activity and then it will sleep for five minutes. So this is a pretty nice while loop to have when we have something that runs in the background and sends messages to you. And if we start this, we will see that it's just running here. And the, this dummy is the, the reporter that says that, yeah, you have a dummy report. But I want to change that up a little bit. So what I want to do is first off, skip this uh, basic QoS up here. I don't want to do a basic consume up here. So I want, don't want to add this consumer. So now it doesn't do anything. It doesn't have any consume. But we will change this while loop down here. So first off, I want to set before the while loop a boolean called auto orc uh, acknowledge to false. And that will be used, but will never be used, uh, never changed. So this is pretty much a constant to say that this is auto um, acknowledge. And then I have this functionality called get, uh, basic get. So this will get one response. So if we add the response, get response here. So one response, get that uh, from the specific queue name and auto awk false. Next up, I will have this for loop here uh, or this if statement here where we will handle this delivery here manually else we will wait for five seconds. So that is one thing. We could change this to use the default uh, test up here and then we could have this full code that we have here inside of here. So if we don't get a response from the queue, we'll go in here and say, are you still there? And then check the live statement. And then I'm still alive and then report activity and then wait for five minutes. 
Five minutes might be wrong, but we might want to have five seconds and change this up even more if you want. But the difference here is that we will have something that will take a response, work on that response, and then next loop here it will check again, did I get another response, and work on that response. And it will continue doing that all the time. And this uh, handle delivery has already built into it to acknowledge the response that it has got in it and so on. So the difference here is that instead of having a push to uh, the consumer where it pushes messages and uh, uh, will auto queue uh, the next message, this will pull messages and be more responsive. They say that this is not recommended, it's not um, something that will be performant and so on. But in this case, depending on how you build this code, I think it could be more performant, especially if you have things that could take a little bit longer to run. So this was what I wanted to cover today. I know that this is a very personal gripe and something that I needed to fix. But if you have run into this problem, here you have a solution that you can look into. If you like this video, uh, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave that down in the comment section down below. And I really hope to see you in the next video.